Let's determine the minimum energy value half h cross omega correspond to the ground state of the harmonic oscillator. But this time, I will use a and a dagger that is raising and lowering operators or together they, uh, they may be called ladder operators. I need to find out these two relations which I am going to prove it. I am start with uh, the commutation relation of h and a that is Hamiltonian and the lowering operator. Hamiltonian is this one. This I have shown in my previous video uh, of uh, harmonic oscillator and the commutation relation looks like uh, after doing some algebra the splitting of the two terms with a plus sign in between looks like this. Now as h cross omega half h cross omega is a constant so it will commute with the operator this term will be equal to 0. So I am left with uh, h a equal to h cross omega a dagger a and a that is commutation relation of a dagger a and a this is my equation j. Now I will use this identity this is uh, the commutation relation of the product a b with the operator c itself after doing some algebra. I have found this, I have just multiplied this, I mean this is uh, a normal uh, notation, normal uh, procedure uh, like uh, I can write this as ABC minus CAB after this. I have just introduced these two terms. So now I can take this A operator common between these two terms. I am left with BC minus CB that is commutation relation of B and C operator. Similarly, if we take B outside of the parenthesis, I am left with AC minus CA which is again the canonical commutation relation of A operator and C operator. So I get this and using this relation and uh, I am using this, this relation here and this is equal to this. So finally I have obtained that H A that is the commutation relation of H and A is H cross omega A dagger A comma A that is commutation relation of A dagger A with A lowering operator and I get this using this, this identity I am getting this as any operator commutes with itself so this term is equal to 0 and the commutation relation of the Hamiltonian and A becomes this. Again I am using the anti-commutation relation. This is the anti-commutation relation of A and A dagger. So the anti-commutation relation of A dagger A is of course minus 1. Therefore my equation becomes like this that is the commutation relation of H and A that Hamiltonian and the lowering operator, operator is equal to minus H cross omega and the lowering operator itself. Now I need to find out the commutation relation of H and A dagger. Again uh, I have substituted for the value of the Hamiltonian itself. The same algebra and the same application of the identity here. This term will be equal to 0 because this is just the commutation relation of A dagger with itself. So this is equal to 0 and I am left with this. Again I am doing the same procedure what I have done here and I am getting this equation K. As I have these uh, commutations relations of the ladder operators individually with the Hamiltonian itself, let us start the proof of the minimum energy eigenvalue which is equal to half h cross omega correspond to the ground state of the harmonic oscillator. Let us begin with the time independent Schrodinger equation which reads as h psi equal to e psi where psi is normalized eigenstate with the eigenvalue with the energy eigenvalue e. As now we need to calculate the energy value the expectation value of energy. So we need to calculate the expectation value of the Hamiltonian operator in the states psi. As psi is normalized length of psi is equal to 1 
length is actually this to the power half and th that is equal to 1. So, uh, if we say it is normalized, we uh, assume that the length of this wave functions are equal to 1. Starting with this expression of expectation value of the Hamiltonian itself, substituting the expression of the Hamiltonian containing a dagger a operator, I need to do some algebra. Now, I split the two terms with a plus sign. In the first term, I have a dagger a. Second term, I have psi psi as length of psi is equal to 1 as I have just mentioned. So, this is equal to 1. From this second term, I will get only half h cross omega. But uh, what will I get from the first term? Let us take a psi equal to phi for the time being, where phi is any non-zero eigenstate. Dual conjugate of phi will read like this, psi bra and a dagger. If I want to make scalar product of phi with itself, that looks like this. And as it is length, so this thing will always be positive. So, the energy value which is the expectation value of the Hamiltonian is this much plus half h cross omega and this is of course positive or equal to 0 and if this is equal to 0, I will get half h cross omega. This is equal to 0 means when phi the state itself is equal to 0 and if that is equal to 0, I get the energy eigen value E equal to half h cross omega which is my equation m and this is the minimum energy eigen value of the harmonic oscillator. 